Okay, this is the true story. One of my friends, he's 2200, he was playing on against a 2300 level opponent. My 2200 level friend smashed the ball as hard as possible and the 2300 guy blocked it back. After that, my 2200 level friend just gave up on the match. I said, why'd you give up? He said, oh, it was no use. He had, I hit my best shot and he got it back, so I knew I was going to lose. Why am I telling you this story? I'm telling you this story because there are some shots in table tennis that are game changers, that change the momentum. And the one shot that I personally feel like Power Pong Robot users neglect is the ability to smash floaty push balls, okay? So they work for many, many, many hours on developing different tricky serves. They get a push, and then a lot of times my students, they actually miss their smash. So just like blocking back a smash was a game changer, if you have a really, really, really tricky serve, the opponent pushes it back, and you yourself miss your own smash, that's also a game changer. See, in table tennis, we tend to think that all shots are equal. They're actually not. All points are equal. Every, every point counts as one point. But just like that scenario I gave you in the beginning, some shots are game changers. Imagine, for example, you are playing in the next tournament, and you serve a very deep, heavy side spin serve, I'm caught off guard and I just give you a floater here. You should be able to hit it for a winner and that's a point for you, but guess what? You're sloppy with your technique or you're moving and you missed that one. So instead of it being a point for you, it's a point for me. So it's actually a two point swing. And in my mind as the receiver, I'm like, ah, okay, I can just put the ball on the table and return it. I don't feel a lot of pressure. In your mind, maybe you're having a bad day or you don't have the momentum as much. So what's the point of this video? The point of this video is that you need to be able to practice the most critical balls. The ball that I'm suggesting that you spend a lot of time practicing is this floaty no spin, back spin, and side spin lob. Set it very, very slow, like 25 or 30 balls per minute. Bend your knees, move into position, get there, and then loop to a good location. The settings for like a no spin high ball would be like trajectory 165, speed 10, spin zero, right to the middle of the table. The, tra uh, the settings for the backspin would be like trajectory 165, speed 10, backspin minus two. And same settings for the side spin, but you could do minus two to go one way and plus two to go the other way. So in this drill that I'm demonstrating here, I'm actually mixing all four of those balls. Some backspin, some no spin, some side spin, and some side spin. I get in position and then loop strong. Personally for me, when I was back in my playing days, I did play 400 tournaments, and the times that my serve worked best was the time that my third ball attack was working best. Why? Because the opponent put pressure on me, sorry, because I put pressure on the opponent with my third ball attack. If I had the trickiest serve east of the Mississippi and the guy pushes a high ball and I can't do much damage on the third ball attack, then my serve is not as effective and somewhat my serve practice time was wasted. So why am I mentioning this? Because I want to encourage you to keep doing serve practice. But I also want to mention that being able to link what you're doing with the robot should go together with the serve by practicing this particular ball. I want your time to be used as efficiently as possible. So make sure that you're doing this particular drill here at least five to 10 minutes a day. Work on your serve, work on this one, and then of course practice implementing these things in match play. If you wanna see more free videos, if you wanna read some coaching articles, if you want tips about which robot to use or which robot is best for you, make sure you check out our brand new website, powerpongrobots.com. I'll see you soon.